The world calls me Carl, but only you call me Dad. And of all my jobs, it's the best one I've ever had. Listen to me tell you what I think you'll grow up to be. No stage fright in the hot spotlight. CT, CT. We actually met when we were very young in Waco, Texas, and um, we just knew that we wanted to be parents. My pregnancy was just what you would expect and what you hear about with your first time pregnancy. All the checkups that I went to were turned out completely fine. It wasn't until actually he was born 24 hours after that we noticed that our perfectly healthy newborn baby just didn't seem perfectly healthy. There were just some things that were very obviously off. So I told them right now, I need you guys to do whatever you do for newborns when something is wrong. I was actually headed home to get the vehicle and I was at the house there and got the call that something was wrong. So we, uh, Obviously, I headed straight back. The, the local hospital that he was born at, they did everything they could, started making phone calls to other children's institutions that were the closest to us at that point. And then all of a sudden, um, our baby was being transported. They're getting him prepped for transport on the helicopter, and they've got him in this tube um, with all these wires and everything on him. Um, I was unable to get on the helicopter with him at that time. Um, the medical team was too large. And I looked down there and it's, at that moment, he grabbed my finger and I knew that he was gonna land in that helicopter at that other hospital and he was gonna be a fighter. I got a call on the way that said, you guys probably wanna hurry, um, it's not looking good. When we finally got to the hospital in Fort Worth, my dad and my uncle had actually beat us there. And my first question to him whenever I rolled up in the wheelchair was, Dad, is my baby still alive? And he said, yes. They tell us in order to figure out exactly what's going on, to be able to get a diagnosis and exactly how to treat him would need to be a heart cath, a heart catheterization. And we thought, okay, we'll get him through this cath and our baby's gonna be fine. That was not the case whatsoever. That's when they did further testing. They told us that CT had a form of what's called hypoplastic left heart syndrome. When you're told what your son has, and you Google what hypoplastic left heart syndrome is, you talk about taking the wind out of your sails. Like, you know that you're in for a rodeo. <laughs> it's yeah, not going to be good. because there's no sugarcoating or cushioning this diagnosis. So then that's when we sat down with cardiologists and figured out that CT would need a series of three major open heart surgeries. So we did everything that we could do to um, just nurture him because they told us from the get-go, like if, um, if you stay here for your baby and your baby knows you're here, that has so much more of an impact than you'll ever know. He will fight so much harder if he knows he has something to fight for. We've made it through some of the hardest surgeries, one of which he even had a stroke. Um, now we've made it to the next surgery that's really helped us turn the corner. That gave us an opportunity to look at the future for his next surgery and where we wanted to be and where we needed to be. Everything pointed to Houston, so that's why we packed what little we had, loaded up on a jet, came to Houston, and that's where he then received the care that he truly needed to keep moving forward and gaining quality of life. Eight months inpatient, Eight months four inpatient. surgeries later, we land in Houston, and 27 days later, we take our son home for the first time. Right. The CT that came home was just absolutely full of life, our pride and joy. You could tell that he just loved being out of the- There he is. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Let me see. Arms up. That big old strong shirt. Take a All right, you ready to go outside? Ride that gator? Let's go, dude. We knew that this moment would come. Through all that we went through, we knew that everything we were doing would lead us to this moment. Everything in our being knew that that we would get this guy home, and we did.
As hard as it is to say, but the future is unknown. Watch this, mommy. Show me. Pew, pew. That was a good one. The future, no doubt, it, it depends on the things that um, the AHA works so hard to do. So we know that we're gonna live life to the fullest for as long as we possibly can and be so appreciative of the time that we have and we have had with CT. Well, the future is unknown. It's very bright in my eyes. We've seen so many advancements. I know without a doubt that our future is gonna be advocating for these little guys. Absolutely.